So, my name is Kelsey Forrest, and I'm doing my project on sociobiology, which is the study of animal behavior. This is Chela, she's our neighborhood cat, and she's my study animal. Um, I wanted to learn about whether cats are as asocial <laughs> as people think they are, because one of the common misperceptions about cats is that they're very anti-people and that dogs are more social than cats are. And I did some research, I found out this isn't true. Cats actually are just as social as dogs. They form social hierarchies the same way dogs do with dominant cats, especially in contained areas. So if you have multiple cats in a house, they'll establish a dominance hierarchy and have individual territories which don't overlap. Um, but the difference is that while dogs are very obvious about their social cues, growling, biting, whining, rolling over, cats are much more subtle. And a lot of their behavioral traits or their cues are too subtle for humans to notice and we don't understand very much about how they communicate with each other. But they are just as social and this allows them to be trained just the way dogs are. So. Uh, the reason that dogs and other animals are trainable is that they do establish dominance hierarchies. So if you or a trainer establishes themselves as the dominant creature in the pack or in the herd, then they can give rewards or mete out punishment for chosen behaviors. This is what most trainers do. There's a system called classical conditioning or operational conditioning, which um, consists of four parts. There's positive reinforcement, positive punishment, negative reinforcement, and negative punishment. The positive or negative refers to whether an encouragement or whether an activity is being promoted or negated. And punishment versus reinforcement is um, whether something's being given or taken away. So positive reinforcement is giving something that an animal wants in order to promote that behavior. Negative punishment would be taking something away so that to keep that behavior from coming back. So punishing a dog for peeing on the floor or giving a dolphin a fish for performing a trick properly. So right now, Chela is giving me, this is Chela, she's giving me social signals. She's telling me she's dominant, her tail's in the air. She's flicking her skin that says she's either enjoying what's going on or irritated, depending on her mood. I'm not a cat, so I can't read it. And in our relationship, I am the dominant cat because I'm the one who gives her food. Rolling over the belly says, I am subordinate to you. And this is why I can train her. So Chayla will sometimes do tricks for me. Like this. Oh, oh good girl. Good girl! So this is what we call a trained behavior. And the food is what's called positive reinforcement. That's good. So when you're training animals, there's what's called primary and secondary reinforcers. The primary reinforcer is something an animal doesn't need to be trained to enjoy. So food or in some cases even just praise. For a dog you can use just praise. Cats are a little more subtle and they like to be just fed. But some cats who are particularly attached to their owners will respond simply to praise. A secondary reinforcer is um, something which a trainer can use to signal a behavior when they can't be in close contact with an animal. So for instance, the whistles that dolphin trainers use are secondary reinforcers most hand signals for dogs are secondary reinforcers. Pretty much any kind of signal that's not directly providing benefit or taking away something which makes the animal unhappy. So um, the way that you can create a primary or a, sorry, a secondary reinforcer is to create what's called a bridge, which is the connection in the animal's mind between the primary reinforcer and the signal. When you do this is by simply offering primary reinforcer in conjunction with your signal. So give a fish, blow the whistle. Do this a whole bunch of times, 
eventually the animal starts to associate the sound or the signal with the primary reinforcer. Chela is trained to respond to a secondary signal or a secondary reinforcer, like so. Chela! Come here. Up. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl.